Hi everyone, welcome to course 7 on Generative Model of Networks. In this course we will see another type of model network, of network model, that are called generative uh, network models. The idea of the generative approach is to find, to design some local processes at a micro level, so between nodes and edges, that will lead to macro properties, so properties observed at the whole system network, so at the whole network level. For example, you know that um, homophily and transitivity uh, lead to clusters. So this is uh, a generative model that we, we, we could design, uh, say postulating that uh, transitivity and homophily at the node level will result into a more high clustering in the generated networks. So we postulate a link between microprocess and macro properties. And this is an interesting uh, way of modeling because it bridges the gap uh, between what happens at the micro level and what is observed at the macro level. This is used to study a real, uh, real world network because a lot of network we find in nature are small worlds or scale free. But it's also useful for generating population of networks. If, if you remember the course 6 on ERGM and uh, dynamic networks modeling, you may remember that for testing the, the, the significance of some networks statistics and parameters of these statistics, we have to generate a lot of networks to see if we have uh, find the good model of the observed networks. So generative networks model are very useful for us. We start by the most simple uh, model called the erdos rini model. This is a very simple model with a fixed node set, so uh, the number of nodes is constant, and uh, a defined probability of edge uh, existence. So this leads to some uh, interesting properties that can be shown analytically. Um, so the probability of existence is uniform. So um, this is not a property, this is a, an hypothesis. It's just saying that uh, every age, every edge has the same probability to exist. So this is a Bernoulli process of probability P. So this is the property that define our random graph model. And this uh, probability of existence uh, lead to uh, some distribu degree distribution. So the distribution of degree for, for the nodes of the network is binomial of parameter P and the size of uh, the node set. So we have V vertices and uh, the binomial distribution of parameter P and uh, size of V is the degree distribution of our network. If you take uh, huge values of the size of V, so for huge networks, the binomial distribution will tend to a, po a Poisson distribution. And in this kind of networks, so in uh, random graph models uh, networks, the short paths are short. It means that uh, compared to the diameter of the network, the nodes are pretty close one to each other. But there is another property that is not uh, so cool. Um, clustering is low. And uh, in, in nature networks, in the real world networks, uh, the clustering is high. It's a, a characteristic, for example, of small world networks. So this is not a very cool property for all this kind of models. Fortunately, there is some variance of this very simple model. So, the erdos rini model only constrains the size of the node set. But the variation of this model constrains also the degree distribution. So we have not only the size of V that is fixed, but also the degree distribution is given. So we say, okay, we want a, node, uh, a network of uh, the size of V nodes, but we want the degree distribution to be this way. So by doing this, we, are, we have constraint on the, uh, the number of vertices, the number of edges, but also the way edges are distributed among the nodes of the network. But every other characteristic is free to vary, and by making some variation, for example, by constraining the, the length of the path, for example, or the number of triangles, 
we have a lot of variants of these uh, random graph models. And these kind of models are called generalized random graph models. In fact, if you remember the course on ERGM model, you, you know that by adding some other uh, characteristics, like for example the number of, tri of triangles, the number of four cycles, the number of, the, the number of reciprocate ties uh, between two nodes, these characteristics produce a particular uh, distribution of edges or a distribution of degree that, that are very difficult to compute but with, that we can approach by simulation by using Mark of, uh, Monte Carlo Markov chain estimation. So, in fact, what we have seen in ERGM course and uh, Dynamic Networks model course is just an extension of this kind of models. So, that's it for this part. And in the second part, we will uh, see the small world model. Thank you.